is only one perfect solution, but there are clues that will try to trick our team. Hello there everyone, my name is Crazy Caleb, and today we're going to be taking a look at Spangled Stars. So this is the way the module looks, and what we currently have is we currently have a series of different stars here. Each of them will be colored uh, in a series of different colors, um, of course once, which will include red, orange, green, uh, violet, um, <clears throat> uh, indigo, violet, and blue, and finally yellow. And we'll have a series of three different letters that need to be Caesar shifted, which we'll get into later. But all we're going to essentially do is we're going to note down the flashes that we currently have on the module, which as you can see is green, green, yellow. We'll note that down. And now what we need to do is we need to figure out uh, what these notes, what these letters, what these colors actually mean note-wise, because they will be uh, a series of piano keys that are ranged from Charlie to Bravo. Um, they do not include flats at all. They simply include F -A uh, F -A -C -E -D -B -G, just like that. So let's go through these first couple rules to determine which are, uh, are what our key is essentially for the um, the piano keys, what the notes what the notes equal to the colors. So. If any module on a bomb has key in its name, uh, in this case it does not, since, this is, since Spangled Stars does not uh, consist of key. Now this can include keypad, um, keypad lock, etc., etc. There are a lot of stuff that we can do with key, so just keep that in mind. And it specifically has to include the letters key, and that could be potentially in the middle. For example, let's go to the repository, and as we search up key, we get a, quite a few options because there's a lot, been a lot of keypads that have been made. So key. As we can see, border keys, chord progressions, uh, that's been made by Ultimate My Key, I should include no authors. Complex keypad, etc, etc, custom keys, disordered keys, quite a few quite a few options that we have through keypad directionality, but essentially if we have a module that is present on the bomb with key in it, that's when we're going to apply this rule. However, we do not, we only have Spangled Stars, Spangled Stars does not have key in it, so we should move on to the next one. It has to be in that order, keep in mind. If the number of Spangled Star modules on the bomb is even, now we only have one Spangled Star uh, module on the bomb, and that does not equal even. One is simply not even. Uh, in this case, if we had zero, which wouldn't even apply this rule at all, or two, or so on and so forth, this rule would apply. It's very rare that this rule does apply, because most challenge bombs happen to have only one Spangled Star consistent of it. But as we know, this rule does not apply. If there are no modules with forget in its name on the bomb, this rule is true. As this is the only module we have on the bomb, we don't have any bosses, or we don't have a forget me, we don't have other stuff like that. So this rule is going to be true, and these are the, what the color is equal to. So red is equal to Charlie, orange is equal to Delta, uh, yellow is equal to Echo, green is equal to, to F, Bra uh, blue is equal to Golf, um, indigo is equal to um, Alpha, and Victor is uh, violet is going to be equal to blue. Uh, Bravo, excuse me. And just like that, we have our notes taken care of. Now for the second part of this module. As I said, there are going to be also three letters on the stars that are on the outside of the circle, which we have the Whiskey, the Hotel, and the November, which they're going to be encrypted using a Caesar cipher. And to decrypt these letters, you must find the key for the cipher. Now how exactly do we do that? To get the key, we're going to find the keys of the top three stars on the module, starting with the star 1 counterclockwise from 12 o'clock, then 12 o'clock, then 1 clockwise from 12 o'clock. So what exactly are we doing here? So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the colors starting from the uh, 1 counterclockwise from 12 o'clock and going clockwise to the 1 clockwise from 12 o'clock. So in this case, uh, it would be orange, green, and indigo. And this is what we're going to do is we're going to convert these guys into the notes that they correspond to. And we're going to get a, a key from these three notes. So let's do that. So we have uh, orange is equal to delta, Gal uh, green is equal to foxtrot, and Indigo is equal to alpha. So DFA, let's, let's search that up. DFA. Uh, okay. Um, and uh, let's see here. So, use the tables to convert the keys below for the XYZ. Now, if there happens to be a case where the, um, the keys do not appear in that order, what this simply means is that um, the order is irrelevant. That's essentially what we have here. So we need to find AFD, perhaps. AFD, if we can find that. Our ADF right here. Here we go. And that, just like that, we have our order. So yeah, so in the table, the keys column refers to the keys in, of the stars. The order is irrelevant, and the key um, is the key for the cipher. So our key currently is going to be 7. So what we need to do is we need to essentially subtract this number from the alphabetic position of each letter since you're decrypting. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to take each character. So we're going to do whiskey, for example. 
Uh, so whiskey will be 23. Whiskey will be 23. Let's pop up the calculator here. Uh, 23 minus 7 will give us 16, which is a papa. Uh, hotel, which is 8 minus 7, will give us an alpha. And November will give us 14 minus 7, which is a 7, which is a goal. Okay. And now, uh, if the star has a hash next to it, then uh, next to the star, then it does not have a letter to decrypt. There may also be letters that are italicized in, on the inside of the circle. These are used for the color band support. So this is what I have here. Um, do not try and decrypt these letters for this step. Now, what we need to do is we need to figure out um, how what notes we're essentially going to be playing. So what we need to do is we need to find these three notes, um, or in this case, Papa Alpha Golf. We need to find these three characters that are the first letters of these um, of the words in the Star Spangled, um, Star Spangled Banner. Oh, say can you see? Um, and essentially what we need to do uh, is we need to figure out the first letters in the segments of the words that are saying during the sequence of these notes. So, let's figure that out. So to solve the module, we're going to press the three notes that would go after the sequence, and if an incorrect sequence is entered, a strike will be recorded. So, let's take a look here. So what we need to do is we need to find a um, a green, green, yellow, and a uh, green, green, yellow, which corresponds to F, F, and E, so F, F, E. And what essentially these letters are to do is it actually is just a way of confirming the uh, if there are duplicate cases. So let's search up F, F, and E. Let's try and find F, F, E, F, 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 E, perhaps F, F, E right here. Um... Air gave proof. I believe what we were supposed to do was we were supposed to go start at the 12 o'clock, then go clockwise for the letters. So I'm going to simply put the P at the end here. Now, do you have any other FFEs? It does not appear to be so. And just to make sure, um, taking a look at the FF and E that we got from our flashing sequence, we have that decrypted now, so we can take rid of this OGI. Essentially, what we're going to do is this is a way of confirming that the fact that we have the correct sequence. So we have a, G, P, and these should be the first letters of each of the words that correspond to each of the notes. So F is corresponding to air, uh, F is corresponding to gave, and echo is corresponding to proof, A, G, P, and just like that, they match the exact letters. So now what we need to do is we need to submit the next three notes into the module. So we're going to be submitting Delta, Charlie, and Bravo. So let's do that. So Delta uh, corresponds to orange from this keynote here. Uh, and then we have a Charlie and then a Bravo. Charlie corresponds to red, and Bravo corresponds to a violet. So what we're going to do is we're going to submit into the module orange, red, and violet. And just like that, USA, 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 the, the USA flag pops up, and the module will be solved. Let's take a look at one more example. This module is not that tricky, but sometimes the rules can be a little bit, there's a lot of reading that you got to do, trust me. So, just remember that we're going to be using, we're going to be going clockwise for the decrypting part of it, uh, starting from 12 o'clock, getting those letters. Sometimes they can be in the exact same position. That's why they were ordered like that, the hotel in November, um, just for that reason. <laughs> now, let's say we happen to add a, uh, just a normal keypad onto this thing. Let's just mix it up a little bit, keypad. A nice, quick, and easy module to do. Now, it doesn't matter about its solve status, it just cares if it's on the bomb or not. So let's just keep that in mind. So let's take care of this guy. Oh, it's nice and space. Lovely. Um, yep. Alright, so now we do have a module with a key in its name, which is keypad right here. So we're going to be taking a look at this little note right here. So now, our flashing sequence is red, red, green which corresponds to the notes flashing up uh, FFE again. Oh, this might be literally the exact same case. I'm going to just pop up a different example because that's <laughs> ironically the exact same notes that we got from beforehand. And from what I remember, there's only one F, F, and E. So we're going to do something else. <laughs> Let's try that again. Thank you, Blin and Stu. Very cool. But essentially, what these notes give you is they give you the, uh, what the flashes give you is the notes that are going to be flashing in a sequence of three. And what the, essentially the, um, the Caesar stuff does is it confirms cases like this. For example, we have Golf Golf Echo right here. 
Oh, of Echo. We don't know which one we want to do exactly, however, they both have the exact same answer, so it wouldn't matter. But in cases where it has the exact same answer, it essentially is confirming where you're at. This can be a little bit tricky, um, but again, for most cases, uh, for quite a few cases, you can actually get just FFE, for example, and where there's only that one solution present in the module, that means you're good to go. So, let's take a look. So we have keypad again. Let's solve this guy, because I just want to get this done. Uh, smiley face, tangle right here. Alright, so we have currently um, a yellow, green, and violet. Now let's convert these guys into notes so we can figure out what we're looking at. So we have yellow, which is Charlie, green, which is Echo, and violet, which is Gull. And these are the three notes that we're going to be working with here. So now, let's take a look. So currently, at our 11 clock position, whenever the lights turn back on, 11, 12, and 1, we need to get these three we need to get these three colors here. We can get our key for Caesar shifter. We have a yellow, orange, red, which corresponds to um, Charlie Alpha Foxtrot. Yellow uh, corresponds to Charlie, orange corresponds to Alpha, red corresponds to Foxtrot. It's just like that. Now it should be ACF, because I believe it orders it alphabetically, so ACF right there, and it has a key of 22. This is rather quite a large case. So, for our first one, uh, let's get started at 12 o'clock, go clockwise to Hotel, Hotel. Uh, it's going to be 8 minus 22, that's 8 minus 2, 8 minus 22. We're going to add 26 to this, giving us a uh, 12, which is going to be a uh, Dima. Next up, um, Oscar is going to be 15, 15 minus the 22 plus the 26 will give us a 19, which is a Sierra. And then we have another Hotel, which is simply going to be another Lima. Ah. So now, let's take a look for Charlie, Echo, and Golf through notes, uh, through our notes here. So Charlie, Echo, and Golf. Um, there's going to be quite a few of these. So Charlie, Echo, and Golf. Um, let's take a look around. Uh, it's not this case because of the fact that it says uh, S, C, and Y. We do not have S, C, and Y. We have L, S, L. Um, S, E, G. Uh, S, E, C, E, G. Uh, S, A, B? Nope. Uh, let's take a look. It's not these guys. C, E, G. That's L, L, G. That's not what we're looking for. So this is exactly what I mean. This is essentially your way of confirming the, um, the position of which you're at, because there is indeed multiple cases where they could have the exact same thing. This example is, uh, is perfect for this, because uh, there is quite a bit to this module. Uh, C E G no C E G C E G nope uh, oh uh, L L S this might be our guy right here now it is important to note that these actually might not be in order uh, twelfth module press three notes um, be sure I want to read this guy um, but essentially what we have here is we have the exact same letters as we have here L L and S. So, this is going to be our guy here. So our next three notes are going to be C, E, and E, which we need to figure out what these characters are equal to. So, uh, Charlie is equal to yellow, Echo is equal to golf, and golf. So we're going to do yellow, green, green. And just like that is a solved module. As always, thank you guys for watching. Remember to stay crazy, stay cool, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.